Abu Ali al Hassan ibn al Hassan ibn al Ibn, also known by the Latinization al Hassan or al Hassan, was an Arab scientist, mathematician, astronomer, and philosopher. Ibn al Ibn made significant contributions to the principles of optics, astronomy, mathematics, meteorology, visual perception, and the scientific method. He spent most of his life close to the court of the Fatimid Caliphate in Cairo and earned his living authoring various treatises and tutoring members of the nobilities. Ibn al Aytham is regarded to be the first theoretical physicist and he has been the earliest to discover that a hypothesis has the necessity to be experimented through confirmable procedures or mathematical evidence hence developing the scientific method 200 years before it was approved by Renaissance scientists. In medieval Europe, Ibn el Ibn was honored as Ptolemaeus Secundus or simply called the physicist. He is also sometimes called al-Bashri after his birthplace Basra in Iraq, or al-Masri. Overview Biography Ibn el Haytham was born c. 965 in Basra, which was then part of the Bayad Emirate, to an Arab family. al Hazan arrived in Cairo under the reign of Fatimid Caliph al-Hakim, a patron of the sciences who was particularly interested in astronomy. He proposed to the caliph a hydraulic project to improve regulation of the flooding of the Nile, a task requiring an early attempt at building a dam at the present site of the Aswan Dam. But later his fieldwork convinced him of the technical impracticality of this scheme. al Hazan continued to live in Cairo, in the neighborhood of the famous University of Al-Azhar, until his death in 1040. Legend has it that after deciding the scheme was impractical and fearing the caliph's anger, al Hazan feigned madness and was kept under house arrest from 1011 until Al-Hakim's death in 1021. During this time, he wrote his influential book of optics and continued to write further treatises on astronomy, geometry, number theory, optics and natural philosophy. Among his students were Sorkab, a Persian from Semnan who was his student for over three years, and Abu al-Wafa Mubashir ibn Fatek, an Egyptian prince who learned mathematics from al-Hazan. Legacy al-Hazan made significant contributions to optics, number theory, geometry, astronomy and natural philosophy. Al Hazan's work on optics is credited with contributing a new emphasis on experiment. His main work, Kitab al Manazir, was known in the Muslim world mainly, but not exclusively, through the 13th century commentary by Kamal al Din al Farizi, the Tanki al Manazir, Lida y al Absawar al Basariya. In al Andalus, it was used by the 11th century prince of the Banu Had dynasty of Zaragoza and author of an important mathematical text, Al Mutaymin ibn Had. A Latin translation of the Kitab al-Manazir was made probably in the late 12th or early 13th century. This translation was read by and greatly influenced a number of scholars in Catholic Europe including Roger Bacon, Robert Gross Dest, Witello, Jean Battista della Porta, Leonardo da Vinci, Galileo Galilea, Christian Huygens, René Descartes, and Johannes Kepler. His research in catoptrics centered on spherical and parabolic mirrors and spherical aberration. He made the observation that the ratio between the angle of incidence and refraction does not remain constant, and investigated the magnifying power of a len. His work on catoptrics also contains the problem known as al Hazan's problem. Meanwhile, in the Islamic world, al Hazan's work influenced Averroa's writings on optics and his legacy was further advanced through the reforming of his optics by Persian scientist Kamal al-Din al-Farizi in the latter's Kitab Tanki, al-Manazir. Al-Hazan wrote as many as 200 books, although only 55 have survived. Some of his treatises on optics survived only through Latin translation. During the Middle Ages his books on cosmology were translated into Latin, Hebrew and other languages. The crater Al-Hazan on the Moon is named in his honor, as was the asteroid 59239 Al-Hazan, in honor of Al-Hazan. 
The Aga Khan University named its ophthalmology endowed chair as the Ibn E. Haidam Associate Professor and Chief of Ophthalmology. Al Hazan, by the name Ibn Al Haytham, is featured on the obverse of the Iraqi 10,000 dinar banknote issued in 2003, and on 10 dinar notes from 1982. One of the major scientific anniversaries that will be celebrated during the 2015 International Year of Light is the works on optics by Ibn al-Haytham.